Today we have some really big stuff to talk about in regards to Nintendo Switch. Maybe a smidge on Switch 2, although, look, you can judge this for yourself on what you think, but the first thing we need to really get into is Mario, okay? Mario Wonder is doing incredible things, and I think we need to make sure we're calling this game by its true title, Super Mario Wonder. Why? Well, Nintendo announced that it sold 4.3 million copies in its first two weeks on the market. And what's interesting is, not that it sold 4.3 million. I mean, that, that might even sound unimpressive when you compare it to Tears of the Kingdom doing 10 million in its opening weekend. No, 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 no. You want to know how impressive that 4.3 million is? According to Nintendo themselves, it is the fastest selling Super Mario game of all time. And if you think about that, any game that has Super Mario in the title, I mean, you're talking Super Mario Odyssey, 25 million. You're talking Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario 64, New Super Mario Bros. They're pretty much the entire mainline series of Mario. This is the fastest selling one, talk about just massive success for this. And the thing is, as you can tell, where Zelda might do 10 million in a weekend, Mario tends to be extremely evergreen and sells a lot over a long period of time. So after this holiday season, I wouldn't be surprised if Mario Wonder somehow hit 10 million. Obviously, that would take a couple months worth of data to do that. But man, I'm just stoked to see Mario in a good place, and Mario Wonder to me is one of those games that I think absolutely deserves the success it's getting because Nintendo finally got inventive again. Now, some of you guys will argue over if it's too easy, if it's you know not you know hard enough or something like that. I, I honestly think that's a, a weird debate to have. There's one particular level, you know, the final bonus world that I think is possibly the hardest level Nintendo's ever created for a side-scrolling Mario game. But obviously, that's one level. There's another one that's much earlier in the game, you know, jump, 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 that's in the special world in World 2. So, yeah, there are some difficult levels. But, yeah, for the most part, I wouldn't say the game is super hard. But, I mean, come on, Mario games in general aren't super hard. I know we go back and we think, like, Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario Bros. World was, you know, was difficult. But I recently played them. And, yeah, Super Mario World was probably the most difficult, I suppose. But even then, by today's gaming standards, it's not that bad. So... Look, I honestly am really, really excited. I've had a blast playing Mario Wonder. I mean, look, I'll even look at this. Look at this, look at this. Here's my Switch right here. Let me show you. Look, what's the, what's the game I'm currently playing? Oh, right. Mario Wonder. That's like literally I was just playing some stuff this morning on it. So I'm just saying that like Mario Wonder is incredible. And I'm so happy for this. And I'm so happy to see what this means moving forward. Heck, maybe the Mario movie even helped boost sales for this. You know, it's, it's hard to really do measurements like that. Now, obviously, we have Super Mario RPG coming up here. We have Hogwarts Legacy coming up. We got some big titles coming this month. So we'll see what happens with those ones as well. But for right now, the crown is held for fastest selling Super Mario game by Super Mario Wonder. Now, this next thing we need to talk about is... <sighs> Man, maybe one of the biggest gaming events of the year. And the crazy thing is, this biggest game event of the year is actually coming from an announcement of a game. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto 6. All right. We have seen a lot of rumors. There's supposedly even leaked gameplay out there. We're not going to show any of that. But Grand Theft Auto 6 had a tweet put out because Rockstar is celebrating like their 25th anniversary and all of that. And in one of the replies, they said, We are very excited to let you know that in early December, we will release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. We look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with you. Thank you, Sam Hauser. Now, this post has already reached 154.9 million people, which is absolutely insane. Uh, that's almost double the total sales of Grand Theft Auto V, just in terms of how many people viewed it. It's got 1.5, uh, 1.4 million likes, about 500k or so reposts and everything. And this is just on one social media platform. And you know, Twitter slash X isn't even the biggest social media platforms out there. I have a feeling that the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer is going to set all-time records in December. Uh, there's some there's some people that suspect it might be at the Game Awards, but we're not going to get into all that speculation there. What I really want to dive into with this, though, is that the real possibility that Grand Theft Auto 6 
could be a Nintendo Switch 2 title. Now, it's going to be on PlayStation 5, and it's going to be on Xbox Series and PC. Of course it is. Heck, maybe it's somehow on mobile phones. We've seen a few AAA games trickle over, especially on the iPhone 15. But what I find fascinating when we look at that is that it does seem the game probably isn't going to come out next year, even though it's getting announced. It sounds like it could be a 2025 title, and that just puts it even more into the Nintendo Switch 2's radar. Now, you might go, well, how the hell is Switch 2 going to get this? We didn't even get Grand Theft Auto V, originally an Xbox 360 game on Nintendo Switch, so why should we expect this now? Well, a large reason was probably the online mode, and I'm not saying Grand Theft Auto's online couldn't run on Nintendo Switch, it just might have taken a lot of custom work that probably wasn't deemed worth it. And when you consider how popular Switch got, it sort of sets you up to think if they're making a sequel system, that sequel system is also gonna be equally popular. And if all these showcases at Gamescom, we know what Nintendo said, but assuming that stuff actually happened and developers are improved and they actually have dev units, I do think it's possible that we could, you know, expect Grand Theft Auto 6 to be on Switch 2. And I don't think we're being unrealistic. We did get the GTA Trilogy remaster, which I know we all like to pretend doesn't exist because it was a very, very shoddily put together remaster. But it is a sign that, you know, GTA is something that Rockstar is willing to bring over. We obviously already know the parent company, you know, they, they've been a supporter of Switch this whole time. They've had the 2K basketball series coming over every time. So I do think that we're going to see GTA 6 maybe even day and date on Nintendo Switch 2. Again, it is going to be widely considered one of the biggest game launches of all time, and I just think that Nintendo is going to want to get in on that hype. I don't think they're going to want to let that game come out and skip their platform. So... While this isn't a confirmation of anything, and when we see the trailer in December, you're not going to see a, a Nintendo Switch logo on there. At least I don't think so. That would be absolutely insane. Uh, and you're not going to see a Switch 2 logo because, well, Switch 2 isn't announced. Uh, it, it's just going to be really fascinating to see this happen because I think, and maybe I'm crazy, like, look, we got all our Mario goodness, our Zelda goodness. We have other third-party companies that do support Nintendo, but... I think Nintendo wants this one. I just, I have a feeling that they, they've had conversations and it's going down. But you let me know. Obviously, it's just speculation at this point and it's so far off, it's hard to even predict unless it somehow appears like whenever they do tease Switch 2, if it appears in the teaser trailer, that would, that would be awesome. But let me know what you guys think about this and if you think this would be a smart choice and a big get for Nintendo uh, I don't know how it can't be. They could literally have the definitive on-the-go version of Grand Theft Auto 6, which would just be sick. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime, and as always, we'll catch you in the next video.